What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Marvel Knight here, bringing you another video game first impressions video. This is for Rage 2, which I started, if you guys saw, I started it on the channel a couple weeks ago. And like I said, in previous videos I've recorded, I've just recorded all these in a row. Devil Artemis, video game reviews, episode reviews. So, like I said, you might not, I might be on Rage, I might have just finished Rage by the time this episode goes up. I might be finished and moved on by the time you even see this video. But I'm probably going to upload this first, because, you know, it's a game that I'm playing. So, I might, I'll probably to upload this one first. Like, I'm, like, because like I said, I'll have, like, the titles. So, hopefully, I'll upload this one before I start playing any more Rage. If not, it won't be before I finish it. At least, you'll see it before I finish it. But anyway... It's a good game. I didn't play Rage 1 when Best Shader came out with it on Xbox 360. I tried playing on PS Now. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. Because uh, it's a good game. But it's definitely not one, something I want to be able to record. So I'm not going to play it. So I ended up watching a summary of it. And it was definitely a very interesting kind of game. Like I said, it's another post-apocalyptic game, which I love those. And Best Shader is definitely the king when it comes to those. And uh, I got to say, Rage 2 definitely stepped up when it comes to that. I definitely really am enjoying Rage 2, I really think it's a good series. I like the whole armor aspect and the whole, um, the earth was destruct was being destroyed and the government still found a way to exploit it to make it so they would be the ones in charge when the thing ended. And that they hunt down anyone who was supposed to be, that could, like, um, who could, like, overpower them. So it's really cool, the whole, like, aspects of, like, the st it's very story-driven as well as action-y. Really, really enjoying it, though. I'm, I love the game so far. Can't wait to play more of it. It's definitely one of my favorite post-apocalyptic games so far. I really am enjoying it. And uh, it's just a great game in general. Storytelling, action, combat style, shooting, everything's great. If you haven't played this game, you definitely should play it. They do make references to the first game like i said i never played the first game but i watched the first summary so there's characters i remember that you get to meet but like i said you don't necessarily need to but you can always go on youtube and watch like an eight minute video that summarizes the whole thing and you guys will be fine with that or if you don't care you just go on and play it it's probably it's not that it's like 20 bucks right now i think on playstation make sure you guys go and check it out definitely is worth it this shit does a, it does amazing work 76 was horrible but like i said they stepped up their game with rage 2 definitely worth the buy definitely would, would consider buying it if you're a fan of fallout new vegas any of those kind of games make sure you guys go and get this game it's definitely got a um sort of uh borderlands kind of feel too it's not like a loot shoot but it is a, like, the, the surroundings and shit like that is all the same. So make sure you guys go and you guys buy this game if you guys are interested. Definitely is worth the buy. I'm sure you can buy it cheap from most anywhere. GameStop's probably cheaper than buying it on the PlayStation Store. But I think it's on sale right now. But anyway, thank you guys all for watching this review. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.